Hey, this is Tom Italian Guitar Works. I'm a repair facility in Southwest Florida. I'm also an OEM builder. Today we're going to do the Fishman SBTE that I harped on the other video instead of using piezo pickups. And right now I'm in the middle of this and I said to myself I should probably do a video on this. So what I've done is separated the two lead wires here from the Fishman. I've already used a double stick tape and attached it inside the guitar body and it's got to go a, like an inch below the bridge and an inch and a half to um, the side of the bridge in between the bridge bracing Now, this is, these plugs or input jacks are a bare to solder. The smallest lug on that jack is the one that's got to take the hot lead. Uh, once we have the hot lead done, the shielding or the ground wire is simple. Now, I know somebody out there is going to go, hey, you're not using that fancy cover that comes with that um, input jack to protect it. And that cover, which is here someplace, you're absolutely right. I'm not using it. And I'm not using it for a reason. Um, the jack is mounted internally inside the guitar. So it's not exposed. If this was done on an upright bass or a mandolin or something of that nature where it was going to be exposed on the outside of the guitar body, then I would worry about that. Okay, I've got my solder joint done. So what we're going to do right now, because we have the solder joint done, is check the input jack. Because it's always easier to do that. jack. You heard it coming through that little fender amp. Now I've already set my screw, distance and depth screw, on the outside of this barrel. I'm going to take my Allen key, which removed the end pin jack from this uh, Larave guitar because they have really nice input jacks and I'm going to push that on and I forgot something so I get to back up and do it again. What I forgot was the finish washer that goes on the inside and then the lock washer that follows it so we can try this again once again, you know, Stumac makes a tool that's an end pin tool. And it's the same thing as basically using your Allen wrench, long reach Allen wrench. So now I'm going to put the hex nut on and the finish washer on this side. And once I got the finish washer on there, there's a little hole that's drilled through the side of the input jack. And it's used so you can put a post through there and tighten this input jack up so it's not going to rattle around or come loose. And by putting a little screwdriver a micro screwdriver through that hole and tightening it up, it's not allowing the wires to twist in a circle and break contact. So now I've got that done. 
And here is that lar larvae end pin jack, and there's the receptacle that goes inside the guitar. These are really nice. I'm gonna save this and give it back to the customer in case he ever wants to switch back. Probably won't. Now we're gonna take the strap button adapter, put that on over the top of all this stuff. Now, to keep my, my strings manageable, I just put a capo across, you know, like the 11th fret, loosen the strings a little bit. And this just keeps them from wrapping up and you didn't need a new set of strings. These were just put on a little bit ago. So now we're just gonna take our pins and seat all our ball ends down there. And as I said on the previous video about the piezo pickups, I had somebody come on and go, oh, well, that transducer you just put on there, that Fishman, that thing's a piezo too. Well, not really. And the reason why I could say that is this, is a piezo pickup takes pressure to activate it. And this does not take any pressure at all. my tools away. I'm getting neat in my old age. Not really. My shop is a mess, but it's a shop. Alright, so now we're going to use the Dr. Duck. And I use this Dr. Duck to get close to tune. walk it in by hand to bring it the rest of the way in. Okay, so last test is going to be to go hook it up again.
No hum, no buzz. It's done. So in about 30 minutes, you could do this at home. Again, this is the Fishman SBTE. And these things go on everything from classical guitars all the way on up. Mandolins. Now, I talked before about leaving, omitting this piece. If I was going to surface mount, i.e. this jack, I would put this on. Because it's an internal mount, I leave it off. One, it's a pain in the butt to thread this on after you get the soldering done and keep it from grounding out on your solder, on the two lugs. Because like I said, you have to move that shield lug out to get at the hot lug on this uh, system. So take your time, read the instructions. Uh, this is Tom at Talon Guitar Works. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll catch you next time. Bye.